For 129 years, this chapel stood as the foundation of the Virginia Theological Seminary, its center and heart. Leaders have knelt at the Emmanuel Chapel altar rail, preached from the great pulpit, and gazed at the mission window with its iconic words, imagining how they themselves would go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Then in a single afternoon in October 2010, it was gone. When you have a fire, it robs you in a way that nothing else quite does. It's a horrific experience. When it happens to someplace like a chapel, the heart of the campus, it's devastating. People expected that this was one of the things that would never change about this school. And then all of a sudden it was gone. The seminary has been part of the Alexandria community since 1823. America was a new nation, and the Episcopal Church just four decades old. A church on its own, yet tethered by history and doctrine to the Anglican Church in England. Unable to travel to the old world for theological education, the new world needed a place to study, train, and inspire new church leaders. That place was the Virginia Theological Seminary. The original chapel was condemned as unsafe due to structural issues and was replaced in 1881 with the Emanuel Chapel. In 2010, the Emanuel Chapel was tragically lost to fire. That day was a very, very difficult day, and we had to cope with the sense of loss and tragedy. But God turns moments of loss and tragedy into moments of hope and resurrection, and that is what the Chapel for the Ages campaign is all about. After much consideration, the Seminary Board of Trustees made a clear decision to build a chapel for the ages, a chapel that will honor the past while addressing the needs of today and tomorrow. A new chapel provides new opportunities for doing things in different ways. And that's one of the gifts that this planning process for the construction of the chapel has really given to us all. While the Emanuel Chapel was insured as part of the seminary's overall policy, it is still necessary to raise considerable funds to cover the costs of building a new facility that will address the current and future needs of the seminary and its community. From time to time, every generation has an opportunity. And this is our opportunity. It's an opportunity to actually construct something that would be a real gift not simply to the immediate generation, but to successive generations going out centuries. We are constructing a chapel for the ages at the strongest seminary in the Anglican Communion. And we're inviting as many people as possible to be part of that. As folks begin to think about giving to this campaign, uh, one of the things to remember is that you're pledging uh, over the course of three to five years. Um, so as you sit down and begin to have those conversations with your budget or with your family, um, it's not what you have now here, but it's what you're going to be able to commit to over the three to five years. When you give to this chapel, you're not simply giving to Virginia Theological Seminary. You're giving to thousands of congregations around this country. Because what a seminarian does is as they do the work that God wants to do in the life in this chapel, they then go out and serve these congregations. We're looking for people to give from their hearts, to say, I believe in this cause and I want to give the best gift that I can give, a gift that will change my life as it helps reshape the seminary. The Virginia Theological Seminary is proud to be working with the world-renowned architect, Robert A. M. Stern, to bring our Chapel of the Ages to fruition. To design a sacred space is a wonderful, rewarding challenge for an architect. I think that throughout the history of architecture, the design of sacred spaces has perhaps been the highest obligation of architecture. So it's a privilege to undertake this project I think it's a chapel for the ages because it recognizes that in the course of time, things will change and evolve. There will be core values and core rituals 
that will be adhered to, but there'll be many aspects of how those rituals are honored or participated in that will evolve. So we're building a chapel for the long haul. So it has a history and it has a sense of responsibility to the future. You can't design the future, but you can at least try to make it possible for the future to take its own shape within reason, with minimum friction with what you have designed. I think everybody can, who believes in the seminary and its missions should contribute to this, whether it's a dollar or a million dollars. Needless to say, a million dollars will help more, but many, many single dollars which just show that people believe in a place, I think is very important. We're very excited about the fact that architectural expertise is meeting mission and vocation to create something beautiful for God. And we're very excited that we can open up this opportunity for others to contribute, to be part of this exciting project. Shouldn't this be seen as an opportunity to build an edifice to the glory of God? Um, and that when people henceforward are trained here, that the um, place points them to a larger picture. When people come to visit here, they see something that represents the, the greatest that we have to offer. We want people to say, I want to be part of this historic moment. I want to be part of the generation that's gonna build something beautiful for the glory of God and something that's gonna have a huge impact on seminarians and on the future of our church. Please consider contributing and being a part of the Chapel for the Ages.